Are you there? Some activity required so that I can start. <clears throat> good evening, good evening, Deepika. Good evening, Ruchita. You guys are there. Aksh Akshay Satirao. Good evening. Here. <clears throat> ये डिफरेंट क्या है दोनों में ओके अपना ऐप ये दिस इज यूट्यूब एंड दिस वन इज अवर ऐप ओके सो गुड इवनिंग चिल्ड्रेन वेरी गुड इवनिंग आई होप आई एम ऑडिबिल टू यू इट सीम्स आई एम ऑडिबिल गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऋत्विका गुड इवनिंग संजय सुमाजरा गुड इवनिंग डोरा मल्ली गुड इवनिंग साजिद गुड इवनिंग Navid, good evening. Gnaneshwar, sir, live in YouTube also. Okay. Jamil Sheikh, good evening. Ruchita, okay, audible, wonderful, right? Now you have written a test. Hmm? In fact, two tests. We are meeting after two tests, na? So one test happened on uh, Sunday, and one test happened today. Hmm? So what is the overall idea about the test? The today's test. Which has uh, complete Animal Kingdom till here, and uh, the one which is the weekend test, the PAC pace, which happened on Sunday. So both the test. Uh, what is the opinion about the test? Pace one eighty, pace one seventy, and it's really good, really good. One seventy five, one seventy. Okay, okay, good, good, very good. Both are nice. Jyoti, tell me your marks. Okay, what is 2022 reunion? <laughs> When is 2022 reunion? You give me a call after the class. I'll tell you definitely. Jyoti Manda 175 and 180. That's really, really very good. 165, 180. Akhila very good. And here, <clears throat> Harita face. That is today's test 180. And uh, Ruchita three, I think it is about today's test one seventy six. Hmm? Now in both the tests there has been no claim so far. People have not claimed even a single key. So all the keys are uh, ob means acceptable. Okay, one seventy five face and one seventy two, one seventy six, and that's really a good thing. 180, 175, Sajid, very good, Sajid. Jamir Sheikh, <clears throat> 175, face. And what about pace, Jamir? P A C pace. Different icons are coming here. Okay, okay. Right. Now the next thing we have to do is to discuss some questions. You can tell me some questions, and it is better you WhatsApp me the question, and uh, I will discuss that. Now, it's space paper because today only I have discussed that. So most of the questions I remember in the space one, and that was uh, uh, I think discussion on that has not happened so far. Only uh, one to one doubts were there. Pace five ninety three question. Why not one? Okay, page five, question number ninety-three. Why not one? Okay, beta. Uh, this is Pramoda. Pramoda, can you share the question to me? Can you share the WhatsApp? <clears throat> Please give your number. Okay, Srijana, my number is nine double eight seven one seven and triple three five. This is my number. Okay, <clears throat> my name is Doctor Anurag Verma, and the doctor is I am not, uh, uh, you know, PhD doctor. I am an MBBS doctor, and the thing which I am still living with is the DR in front of me. And even if I have to talk to the DM, I just sit aside, and the DM also greets in a very nice manner. So that is the power of DR in front of the name. I'm not practicing right now. I'm not practicing for my profession. I do practice little bit, little, but then I don't charge anything. Okay. 
which is teaching. Okay, so uh, yes, Jameer, I am a MBBS doctor. Okay, why muscle is excitable? Good question. Now, Shyam Pula, muscle is, what do you mean by excitable cell? What is the meaning of excitability? Let us understand. What is the meaning of excitability? Okay, uh, we, we, we see that the people started shouting and dancing and, you know, doing party. We say that they are, the, this guy got excited. If a person starts shouting very loudly, Arre Baba, don't get excited, right? In a cell, what is excitation of a cell means? Hmm? So, to understand that, voice is not audible. Not audible, okay. Voice breaking. Okay. Just a second. Just a second. This is working. Full charge, it seems. Voice breaking. Audibility, okay, wait, 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 I'll do, I'll do something, I'll do something, I'll do something. <clears throat> Voice problem. In both. Ikra and Ikra, both. Hmm? Mic on. Voice is clear. Okay, okay, now it's clear. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you for the feedback. And now let me discuss excitability. So a cell is excitable. What does that mean? Now try to understand that how the are actually when they are not doing anything let us say they are at rest at rest okay when the cells at rest then only we can understand that uh, when they are excited okay excited so try to understand first of all neurons that we all know that they are excitable cells so what happens in a neuron that we say it is excitable okay so neuron <laughs> Uh, at rest, there is a polarity that means this is a cyton and outside the membrane there is a positive charge and a corresponding negative charge inside the membrane. Now this is, we can say that there are two poles, one is a positive pole and one is a negative pole across the membrane and therefore we use the word polarized. This is a polarized state, polarized state polarized state okay that means a cell is outside same happens with the muscle fiber in a muscle fiber if the nerve impulse has not come outside the muscle it is positively charged outside the muscle membrane membrane is positively charged inside the membrane it is negatively charged are you guys with me this is there because of distribution of uh, ions, unequal distribution of ions and some anionic proteins there. So there are uh, three, four factors why this is there. That is a, a, a different chapter. We will understand that, uh, you know, uh, why there is a positive charge. Right now we have to understand the fact that there are positive charge outside and negative charge inside. Now what happens is that when a stimulus is applied, now a stimulus means any change. Stimulus means any change. I said stimulus conditions apply. I'll tell you what that condition is. Right now, any stimulus applied to a maybe <clears throat> we can touch the cell in case of a sensory neuron or here how the muscle get a stimulus. The muscle get a stimulus when a nerve impulse has reached the end of the muscle. So the nerve impulse and it brings it brings the it brings the uh, impulse or action potential to it so this is a stimulus for the muscle in either cases what happens that the cell now become positively charged from inside now the cell become inside positive because some positive ions like sodium ions they come inside and there is a corresponding charge outside so this is a polarized state and this is also polarized but opposite polarized we say this is depolarized we call it depolarized 
polarized, depolarized, okay? But so this depolarized state is what is called excited state. Now, both in muscle cell also, when a nerve impulse comes, it also becomes depolarized. And when the muscle becomes depolarized, it contracts. Remember that? A muscle, where only when it becomes depolarized, it contracts. Okay? In depolarized, the muscle becomes positive from inside and negative from outside. Okay? Positive from inside and negative from outside. This is a depolarized state and now it will contract. It will contract. It will contract. The muscle will work. So this is a resting state. In resting, there is a polarized state. And when it is uh, excited, it is depolarized. Both muscle fibers and uh, nerve fibers, they are excitable. And muscle, unless they are depolarized, they cannot contract or for a muscle to contract you know, depolarization is very important. I hope you understand that both the cells are excitable cells. Okay, got it? Now, the detail of how it is polarized and depolarized, that is a different chapter. I'm not starting the discussion right now. This chapter is about structural organization. So, any other things you want me to discuss? Good. Shampula, very good. Any other thing? Just learn everyone out there, please learn. Muscle cells and nerve cells, both are excitable. If a stimulus is given, both becomes depolarized. Hmm? If a liver cell is there and a stimulus is given, nothing happened to it. If a skin cell is there and a stimulus is applied, nothing happened. But, as, but if it is a muscle cell, even if you provide the charge from outside, you know that there are certain cases where the muscles cannot contract by themselves. There is a, uh, you know, temporary paralysis. So, there are electrical stimulators, muscle stimulators, where the current is provided from outside. Not that much current, so that, you know, the, the man will die, but only to that muscle. Pulses are given so that the muscle contract, you know. So, stimulus is very important for a muscle to contract. Any other question, Bacho? Now, someone has given one uh, doubt about that question. Why not option one? Uh, do you know what that question was? Please tell me. Uh, dogfish. Dogfish. You know that dogfish is a, a fish. It is a scoliodon. It is it belongs to Pisces, right? In all other options are cuttlefish. Now, cuttlefish is sepia. It belongs to mollusca. Then devilfish. Devilfish is octopus. It belongs to mollusca. Then uh, there is another fish. Uh, I think uh, some other fish is there. Okay. So true fish means which belongs to phylum or uh, that class Pisces. True fish means the one that belongs to class Pisces. Very good, Vijay. You got 170 in today's test or the PACE test. Okay. Better please tell me. Have you understood this question, Harita? True fish means it is really a fish. Others are just name. They are not fish. For example, silver fish. Now, silver fish is an insect. Why not biradial? Biradial. Exon terminal can form synapse with exon or other neuron? Very good question. Okay, <clears throat> Pramoda. Now, this is everyone, everyone out there and everyone out there, please understand, it is little something outside NCRT. No doubt about that. It is something outside NCRT, but I, I want to tell you that there are four types of synapses in the body. Synapses, synapses are of how many types? Four types. We only learn one type, but actually there are four types. After the class also, I will share this document with you. You can become a document, you can learn it. Four type of synapse. One type of synapse is known as the one common one. We call them exodendritic. 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 Now, this is a very common synapse where a cell is there and the exon terminal and the dendrite of another cell, a dendrite of another cell is, you know, and the exon of another cell, dendrite of another cell, right? This type of, uh, 
This is called exodendritic. We will only know about this type of synapse because most of the synapse in the body are exodendritic. I repeat, most of the synapse in the body are exodendritic. I hope that you are following my things that uh, put a earphone or headphone so that you can listen only and you get less disturbed. Now, these are exodendritic. Then there are some type of synapses called exosomatic. And exosomatic, this is between one exon and the soma of the other cell. Another neuron is there and uh, it has got dendrites, no doubt. It has got dendrites, but it is not with the, not with the dendrite, but soma. You know that this part of the cell is called soma and therefore we call it exosomatic. Exodendritic, exosomatic. Third type of synapse is called exo exonic. Now this is, <laughs> this look very weird. How exo exonic? Yes, there are certain cases in the brain where exo exonic pathways are there. For example, like another, <clears throat> okay, so this will make a synapse with its exon. Now this is an exo exonic type of synapse. This also present body is very, very complex. The nervous system is very, very complex. And the fourth type, Bacho, is called dendrodendritic. I'm, I have not given that question, so please don't blame me. Dendrodendritic, but I'm just explaining you that question, okay? Uh, ex dendrodendritic, Bacho. Now, as the name indicates, it is between the dendrite of the two cell, dendrodendritic. So, what we know that the impulse travel from uh, cell body to exon is the most common type. However, there are some exceptions also in even in our body. So, this is called dendrodendritic. But we only ask you to remember dendrodendritic. We only ask you to remember exodendritic because this is the most common type the most common type of synapse. Hope that makes sense. Now you understand that all are possible. All are possible. Now you must be asking, sir, how impulse will travel? Where the impulse will travel? Will it go here or go here? Where it will travel? Actually, in this type of situation, it is actually inhibiting the impulse. So when an impulse come here, its impulse is actually inhibited, right, in exo-exonic type. Hope it is clear to everyone. Body is very, 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 in MBBS it comes, yes, it, it in MBBS de definitely it will come. Dendrodendroic is in ganglia spinal cord. Yes, okay. So we have, I'm not going to much detail of that ganglia and uh, uh, you know that is a sympathetic ganglia we are talking about. Next question, Bacho. Next question. How to remember numbers related to earthworm easily? Write on a piece of paper and uh, write on a piece of paper the segments and what is important about that segment. And uh, you will find that Almost half of it you already know. The one you know, just strike them out. Hmm? And now all your focus on the remaining one, which you are you have forgotten, okay? Then you focus on that remaining one. In that also, after some reading, you understand it. Arre, this is also common sense. I can put that relation. I can You can cut them. Slowly and slowly, you'll find that the all names have been cut have been striked out. Now this is what I used to do. I used to do that some already remember. I don't take, so you know it happens that the actual which has to be uh, you know memorized or which has to be mugged up becomes smaller and smaller. Some relations I can develop. For example, the relation between the pharyngeal uh, nephridia and which gland? Come on, come on, come on, which gland? Pharyngeal nephridia and Akshaya Satya Rao, very good name. Yes, come on, come on, tell me, tell me. Tell me. Pharyngeal, pharyngeal nephridia, the number is similar to blood gland. Yes, Sajid Hussain, uh, your answer is correct. It is blood gland, blood gland, okay. 
and uh, i have when i have discussed i have also uh, make rough diagrams that is also one of the way to remember so now the next animal which one that animal is called cockroach commonly we call them cockroach and uh, uh, its scientific name is periplaneta come on what is this periplaneta okay you can say along with me periplaneta americana americana okay slowly slowly peri planeta one is peri and then planeta 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 peri planeta all around the planet all around the planet the name of cockroach peri planeta americana americana now this one has come from america the one it is the most common species in india okay it's the most common mc means the most common in india in india okay now why it is called americana try to understand when industrial yes when industrial revolution started okay then lot of good used to come from one continent to another continent okay so in britain great britain where the industrial revolution began then they used to uh, send the goods to american uh, countries okay and america in return used to send something uh, to the great britain also so the trading began and all this trading used to happen through the sea route which route sea route water route big big containers used to brought okay these containers are made up of wood not no, no, right now they are made up of steel or iron but those were the you know wood containers and uh, they were uh, they, they were shifting them from america this animal has come into some container and has reached great britain and when the trading between india and great britain started then from those containers only it came into the container and you know the sea route is a long route it's like for months and months for maybe a couple of months they are traveling slowly and slowly but even for that duration even without water you know that cockroach never drinks water god has not given the mouth part by which it can drink water okay so cockroach can survive in all type of situation that is okay okay for them to survive whatever little little things available they can feed upon that and cockroach came through the container when the containers were downloaded in india and now you understand that it come to the so all the port areas they started getting infected with this infested with this animal and this animal and this animal has a very amazing ability to uh, survive in all type of situation and also it can multiply very fast that is actually with all the insecta with all insects this ability that they can survive in all type of climates and all type of habitat and you know they can multiply very fast this makes insecta about you know uh, let me tell you that 3/4 of all the animal species on this planet i'm not saying all the animal population i'm saying animal species 3/4 of all the animal species on this planet are insects they are insects make sense okay so and moreover it cannot fly this animal cannot fly it is a cursorial animal it can run fast it is adapted for running very fast so i hope you understand like harita and pramoda most three fourth of all the species on this uh, of all the animal species are insects you understand so <clears throat> this is the ability of the animal from those port areas those port areas now even land lock Uh, you know uh, areas landlocked states uh, union territories even in kashmir you can find this everywhere now it is everywhere and not only in india this is the animal which is found in all continents in all continents. therefore the name periplaneta okay in all continents all continents all continents okay the size vary from 1/4 of an inch to about 3 inch now double dash means inch this is a symbol for inch just learn it the size vary from 1/4 of an inch to 3/4 of an inch this is general it is a general size general of all of all the 
Oh, you know, the color vary from red, okay, red, green, green, yellow, different, different colors are there. Particularly in the tropical countries, you know, the tropical countries are the areas where diversity is maximum. Not only plant diversity, animal diversity, complete biodiversity is maximum. Okay, because of different reasons. May you understand? Okay, Kusuma now coming. Okay, now voice struck, voice coming. Okay. Voice breaking. Sorry, beta. For this voice break, here also people are saying voice is struck. Sorry, beta. Shall I again start? Okay. God, please do something with the network so that my children can utilize this time the maximum. God, please do something in the network. My children can utilize the time to its maximum. It is coming up. It's wonderful. <clears throat> so different, different colors are there in the tropical countries. Okay, tropical countries, tropical regions are the regions where maximum biodiversity is found. We will discuss something about this in ecology. But so, so Perry Pellet American are talking about this animal. Particularly, it is reddish brown in color, okay? So, it is reddish brown or dark brown? Dark brown, okay? What NCRT has given the color of it? What color NCRT has given dark brown or reddish brown? The size ranges from 34 millimeter, 34 millimeter to uh, 53 millimeter. The size ranges from 34 millimeter to 53 millimeter, <clears throat> hmm? Beta? <laughs> brown or black bodied? Brown or black bodied, okay? So, brown color, brown color, brown or black bodied, black color, as NCRT has used the color and uh, 34 to 53 millimeter, 3.4 mm, uh, 3.4 centimeter to 5.3 centimeter. Learn this data, but to this data, but to please, but to 34 to 53, 34 to 53, please, but to to this data. Now, this is something 1.3 inch, roughly to 2.1 uh, inch. Roughly 2 inches, roughly 2 inches, it is not that big as 3 inch as found in the tropical countries. It is roughly 2 inches, 2.1, 1.3 inches to 2.1 inches. I told you that double dash means inches. I hope the size you have to remember 34 to 53 millimeter and uh, <clears throat> it belongs to phylum, it belongs to phylum arthropoda, the class class is insecta insecta another name of insecta is hexapoda hexapoda because this animal has uh, you know uh, six legs three pair of legs all insects have three pairs of legs total six legs hexa means six poda means legs this is the name of the class okay now the name of the genus you know the genus name is periplaneta and the species is americana the american return our cockroach is not ordinary cockroach his forefathers came from america okay now <clears throat> the body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen the body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen and it's a metamerically segmented animal it is metamerically segmented but three segments can be distinctly seen, head, thorax and abdomen. But head is further made by uh, fusion of six segments. Abdomen is further made up of fusion of three segments and ten segments are there. Uh, three in the thorax and ten. Yes, very good. Chetin, thus, very good. So head... <coughs> Head, thorax, abdomen, head, thorax, abdomen, six, three in the thorax and ten in the abdomen. Aru mudupadi, aru mudupadi, aru mudupadi, head, thorax, abdomen, head made up of six segments, fusion of six segments, three are there in the thorax and ten abdominal segments. The three thorax can be called as 
prothorax okay it can be called as prothorax very very important thoracic segment then mesothorax mesothorax and the third one is a metathorax metathorax so i think this need not to be memorized already you can say pro meso meta okay uh, then this animal is covered by hard exoskeleton and uh, exoskeleton exo skeleton exoskeleton which is made up of chitin chitin so chitinous plates are there chitinous plates are there and so what do you think are these hard plates soft plates these are hard plates no these are hard plates okay so hard plates of chitin hard plates of chitin we call them as sclerites sclerites the hard plate of chitin can be called as sclera sclero means hard sclero means hard okay so because they are hard plates sclero hard sclerenchyma sclerites sclerosis sclero means hard and therefore these hard plates can be called as sclerites this is a general name now but the dorsal one and ventral one the dorsal one dorsal and the ventral one ventral you know that dorsal back side is the dorsal side and abdominal side this is the ventral side belly side is the, uh, you know ventral side <coughs> now one of them is called sclerite and one of them is called tergite okay one of them is called sternite sternite and sternite and one of them is called tergite tergite sternite night now we have to think that which one is ventral now this can be related to our ventral surface ventral side this bone is also given the name sternum so the ventral side the ventral side the the plates of the ventral side they can be called as uh, sternites sternites ventral are called sternites i think all these things you already know sternites and dorsal are called the tergites can i tell you one thing the tergum the tergum of prothorax please note down the tergum of prothorax prothorax you know what is the name of it it is also called pronotum pronotum people think that pronotum is the name of the prothorax na beta it is a dorsal tergum of prothorax the tergum the hard tergum of prothorax is called pronotum i am putting condition supply i mean i am putting a strict sign okay so refer to the diagram of ncrt wait refer to the diagram of ncrt everyone can i hope you have the book open in front of you <coughs> okay so you see here something called pronotum can you see this one pronotum pronotum very big one very hard one it is the tergum dorsal tergum of prothorax dorsal tergum of prothorax is the point clear to you head is concealed you cannot see the head head because head is downward projected even the mouth opens downwards mouth does not open forward the mouth opens downwards if you see the animal from the top you don't see the head much but if you see the animal from front then you can see a triangular head a triangular head with prominent eyes prominent eyes kidney shaped kidney shaped eyes and you know that these eyes are known as compound eyes compound eyes okay make sense okay some more points we should understand uh, about this one it is better to go on the board because this you have but when we do it step by step then it also record in the brain step by step so sternite tergite this one is a ventral one this one is a dorsal one that makes sense and pronotum is the tergum of prothorax this i have to told you because it is labeled in the diagram 
बच्चों इन द हेड थोरेक्स इन द हेड सेगमेंट द हेड सेगमेंट देर आर वन पेयर ऑफ वन पेयर ऑफ कंपाउंड आईज वट इज द शेप ऑफ द कंपाउंड आईज दे आर किडनी शेप्ड कंपाउंड आईज किडनी शेप्ड दे आर किडनी शेप्ड ओके वन पेयर इन द हेड कैप्स्यूल Head capsule also has one pair of filiform. Filiform means thread-like. Filiform antenna. Antenna. Antenna also known as feelers. Antenna also called feelers. And the alternate name can help you to understand what is the function of antenna. Antenna help in feeling. It is sensory in nature. It has got many receptor. For example, it has got the receptor for taste, the chemo receptors. Hmm? So it has got many receptors. Filiform. It is thread like antenna. Okay, one pair of compound eyes. They are kidney shape. And we tell. I will tell you what compound eyes means. in the nervous system right now only outside what we see the mouth parts the mouth parts is a biting and chewing type it has a biting and chewing type of mouth parts learn that very very commonly asked question biting and chewing type of mouth parts okay and head is made up of how many uh, how many segments how many segments six segments six segments or six uh, metameres we can call them six metameres six metameres head okay one pair of ocelli are also there one pair of ocelli now ocelli are photoreceptors they are photoreceptors that means they only sense the light but they don't make any image one pair of ocelli okay that is also there in the head let us come to the thorax a very very important let us come to the th in the thorax two very important things are there one is uh, three pairs of legs three pairs of legs okay and two pairs of wings two pairs of wings okay we are going step by step so that your mind can also recall all the points and then if something is not learned you can just memorize it here itself so that many things no, you don't require to learn it afterwards you can just give us quick revision and you are done particularly for a structural organization if these are the three thoracic segments there is a flexible neck a flexible neck and then what you see here is the head capsule head capsule is not much seen and these are the two compound eyes that you see okay so these are the eyes compound eyes there is a flexible neck okay there is a flexible flexible neck flexible neck okay these are tergites because you are seeing from the dorsal surface you can also make from the ventral surface but right now uh, in my mind i have drawn it and this is the abdomen which is made up of 10 segments this is the prothorax prothorax this is a mesothorax and this one is a metathorax three pair of legs without any problem you can just learn that the legs are attached to all thoracic segments legs are attached to all thoracic segments okay that means one pair of legs are attached to each thoracic segment one pair of legs are attached to each thoracic segment so these legs can be called as first pair of legs okay or prothoracic legs we can call them as prothoracic prothoracic leg simple hai na prothoracic leg this one is mesothoracic mesothoracic legs and this one to you also know that it is metathoracic legs metathoracic legs these legs are jointed these are jointed jointed and movement can occur at the joints it is made up of five segments five segments 
सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द लेग सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द लेग ऑल्सो कॉल्ड पोडो पोडो मीन्स लेग्स मियर मियर मीन्स सेगमेंट ओके सो वी कैन कॉल देम पोडो मियर्स पोडो मियर्स so it has got uh, five segments each leg has got five segments i hope you understand each leg has got five segments now two pair of wings is important two pair of wings the fore wing and the hind wing the fore wing now because two pairs are there you cannot distribute in all three so the thing is given is that uh, god has uh, you know talk to the prothorax Ki bro, don't don't worry. I mean, don't uh, feel very bad because we are giving the uh, you know the wings to the other meso and metathorax. Prothorax cried a little bit. Why this injustice? God said, no, it's not injustice. It is that because the hind wings, the pair of hind wings, they help in flying. and the flight wings should be placed in such a place which is close to the center of gravity that is the reason god has asked this prothorax to be silent okay don't worry now you are not crying okay and the first pair of wings first pair of wings which are very large and these are attached to the mesothorax so the prothorax has no wings but wings are there in the meso as well as in the meta i should have written here pro i should have written here meso and this is meta thoracic segments three segments of thorax wings are only in the two segments obviously you cannot distribute the two pair of wings in the three segments meso and meta thoracic wings they are the one now the mesothoracic wings they are thicker they are thicker they are leathery leathery and their purpose is to protect the hind wings the hind wings are thin transparent hind wings are thin they are transparent it flutters the fore wing don't flutter when the animal flies what happens that the fore wings they become at they come at right angle you can imagine my uh, other hand so it they come at right angle who the fore wings and the hind wings which are smaller they flutter they flutter and this is how the animal flies but this animal doesn't like to fly much this animal doesn't fly from like this a bird fly or other insects fly no okay so this animal uh, can manage running it is adapted to fast running it doesn't fly much okay but even if it is fly uh, even if it want to fly it fly due to its hind wings which are also known as metathoracic wings the mesothoracic wings are protective in nature they are hard i mean they are thicker we should not call hard but they are thicker they are leathery hmm? and the smaller one are easily it can flutter they are thinner they are membranous they are colorless they are transparent so this is a very important question which one is the flight wing flat wings or hind wings and the fore wings now when fore wings are not flying the wings says that bro why we are you are calling us wings then okay don't call us wings because you have not given us the ability to fly we are just protective in nature we are protecting the hind wing therefore anatomist entomologist they have given an alternate name of four wings the four wings which were also known as the meso thoracic wings meso thoracic wings they have been given another name today the name is called tagmina their name is tagmin today means that day tagmina whom to tag tag whom tagmina tagmina whom to tag please tagmina 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 okay so this is the name given to the four wing because the wing is actually should be flight it's not flying wings make sense oh, everyone understood tagmina everyone understood here also in the 
uh, in our application, Goshalites application. Acho, tagmina are the four wings or mesothoracic wings. Anyone can do some activity so that I can. Yes, uh, the Mir Sheikh said yes, and Sharanya in the you know YouTube also says yes. Okay, and Rutvika also said understood and also understanding and also remembering. Okay, what do you mean by podomeres, bacho? Podomeres kya hota hai? What do you mean by podomeres? Podomeres. The next class on cockroach will be the best class of structural organization. I plan to have today's class, that one. But you know what happened? I just missed my uh, pen drive. And in the pen drive, there is a, you know, what do you call that? A presentation, you know, PowerPoint presentation. NCRT based. But what happens that some information and based on that question, some information based on that questions are there. For the online people, I will share also with you. I will share, no props, okay? Because I can share. Uh, but when you do in the class, then you find that, sir, we have memorized the, you know, cockroach. Now we don't need to do cockroach again. That's what the feedback, even in the offline class, majority of the students say the same thing. So I'm having that, okay? And uh, today pen drive is not there and we don't get anywhere. Uh, even in my email also, I don't remember it is there. So there is a very good presentation wherein NCIT points are there with pictures and two points and one question. Two points, one question. That is a good revision. Okay. Segments of the legs. Okay. Legs are having five segments. These are the segments of the legs. Podomeres are the segments of the legs. And uh, my question is, how many podomeres are there? And your answer is five. So there are five podomeres. Okay. And these podomeres attached to the body are the coxa. Coxa. Then next is the trochanter. Trochanter. The next is fe femur. Femur. Tibia. Tibia. And tarsus. Tarsus. Coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus. One, two, three, four, five. Now, tibia is the longest one. You can see it, longest. Longest one. Trochanter is the smallest one. Smallest. It is the smallest one. Okay. And this one is attached to, coxa is attached to, attached to body. It is the one that is attached to body. Okay. Tarsus is the distal most. Are you guys getting this? Coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus. These are the different podomeres. Coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus. Coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus. Coxa, trochanter. But you know, I did not remember it like this. I remember it as Cox trophy. Cox trophy tita. Okay, it's very weird thing, but I remember this only. Cox trophy tita. Cox trophy Trophy Tita. Okay, some European language we are speaking. Cox Trophy. Cox. Cox Trophy Tita. Let me break it. Coxa. Coxa. Trochanter. Tita. Tibia tarsus. Okay. And tibia is the longest one. Cox Trophy Tita. Cox Trophy Tita. This is how I remembered it. So you can also use it because not only here, MBBS is full about making the tricks and memorizing because there are no questions. There are no, uh, we have, don't, we don't have any calculations. We don't have, uh, some calculations are there only in one subject that to just 20 marks calculation. And that is a part of PSM, you know, PSM, preventive and social medicine, where population, we have to analyze the population demography. In that, some statistics, mean, mode, median type of questions come. Mean, mode, median, that's it. The whole MBBS, there are no, I mean, there are no numericals. All theory, theory, theory. And it is all about how much a human can remember. Okay, so 
obviously in the beginning we make some tricks and slowly and slowly the trick start you know we start forgetting the trick and the main thing is remembered but in the beginning the trick is the one that we remember okay but so cox trophy theta these are the one and uh, tbi is the longest one and trochanter is the smallest one okay but let me open the ncrt book you can also open your ncrt book and let us take the production of the diagram so that if anything if we forgot we could have done that okay let's see this one the head from the top head is not visible much because head head is facing downwards head and know what happens the pronotum is also a bigger one okay so even the neck is also not visible because it is somewhat overlapping and uh, therefore a small thing we see head very very small head is there tegmina tegmina okay this is the uh, protective wing function of tegmina tegmina protect hind wings tegmina tegmina okay i told you know that their name is because they are not doing the function of a wing hind wings abdomen now one thing that you see here are anal cerci okay anal cerci or cerci anal cerci or cerci why is it called anal because they are close to anus that's it and what these actually are but so if you notice these these are also segmented these are segmented projections these are segmented uh, appendages and they are sensory in nature sensory it has got auditory receptors it has got auditory receptors auditory receptors and not only the sound vibrations it can also feel the vibrations of the ground anal cerci sensory in nature it has got auditory receptors which receptor auditory receptor so cockroach hear something from this end and not this end there are no ears here and cockroach feel the vibrations through anal cerci and these are present in both the sexes okay so it's a generalized one it is present in both the sexes but the male if it is a male in the male we can see something close to it also in the male we see something close to it okay these are not segmented uh, anal cerci segment but these are not segmented okay and these are known as anal styles anal styles styles anal styles are present only in the males only not present in female therefore they have not drawn it it help us to see and identify a male the moment we see that uh, anal styles are there we know that this guy is a stylish one males are stylish males are stylish so let us take a pradakshina pradakshina means taking a round metathoracic legs mesothoracic legs and this is a metathorax prothoracic legs three leg three pair of legs are there mesothorax pronotum which is a dorsal tergum and compound eyes filiform thread like filiform means thread like antenna thread like antenna feelers they are motile they can move it and this is the external appearance of this animal i told you about this uh, you know i told you about the scleroids the two scleroids there is a flexible membrane in between there is a flexible membrane do you know the name of that membrane who will tell me the name of that flexible membrane making a joint making a joint between the two scleroids making a joint between the two scleroids do you know what is the name of this membrane who will tell me first yes the youtube guys have given it first first time kavita then uh, chinnamay kavita again and sham sharanya good 
and Sheshagri, Arthrodial, Arthrodial. And now, I think, you know, there is a gap. Uh, there is a lag in, therefore, I think, Pramoda, Harita, Sheikh, Srijana, and uh, Sheikh again, Arthrodial membrane. Arthro, Arthro means joint. So it is joining the two scleroids. Scleroid means hard plates made up of chitin. Okay. And the last question, name a phylum where small ossicles are present in the skin and they are endoskeleton. Name the phylum where skin has small bony. Okay. Tell me the phylum and uh, yeah, we got an answer here. I don't want to see the answer here, but here we got the answer. Very good. Who will answer here first? My question is and Akaino. Very good. Very good. Amrutanan. Very good. And Pramoda. Very good. Chaitanya. Very good. So yeah, Akainoderma. Very good. But this is not the question. The question was these small ossicles, they are made up of calcium or chitin. Calcium or chitin. They are made up of calcium or chitin. Come on. Come on. Some yeah. Hari Surya has given the answer here. Hari Surya, Farida. They have given the answer. Very good. Very good. Very good. And here, let me see. Yeah, here also. Pramoda. Yeah, good. They are made up of calcium. They are calcareous. Calcareous. Echinodermata. Endoskeleton, endo, when you see the, touch the body, na, you don't touch these ossicles. They are within the skin, but they are made up of calcium. Here, the exoskeleton is made up of chitin, chitin, okay? Even in crab, even in crab, the hard thing that we see is also made up of chitin. Even in crab, I hope everyone knows the crab and, you know, the tough back of the crab. Time is over, but the next teacher will be there, so he will take the next class. God bless you all. And let's meet on the next turn. Bye-bye. Take care. And uh, yes, on the ne next class will be the wonderful most one on cockroach because you don't need to do cockroach anymore. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> you want that? Let me just check and uh, change. And I think there's nothing special here. Cox, Profitita, Podomiers. Uh, just have a look. Just have a look quickly, you know, while eating food or while just leisure. You can just have a look, okay? So I'll just share it. When this technology is available, why not use this technology? But a challenge if you just revise what is taught in that day, you will get at least top 250 ranks. You will be in top. What about the weekend syllabus? Weekend syllabus, today we will decide. Weekend syllabus. Okay? So today we will decide that and then we'll let you know. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. My class over. Sorry, Sarth. <laughs> अगर साइंटिफिक ऑपरेशन नहीं है, हाँ, तो क्या